we have an analog emitter. Analog emitter is the one with the needle one. Okay, the emitter with that needle pointer. Okay, nah, this is analog emitter. Okay, got needle one. But this one is a uniform scale. Uh, okay, so following prolonged use, okay, after much use and abuse, the pointer does not return fully to zero. Oh, yo, meaning oh, the pointer cannot go back to zero already. GG, oh, this needle cannot go back to zero. When the current is turned off, the meter has become less sensitive. Okay, we've got so many issues, uh, this one. Okay, so the meter has become less sensitive at higher currents than it is at lower currents. So this is issue number two. The sensitivity change. Okay, so less sensitive here also means less precise. In other words, huh, the scale are closer to each other at higher readings of I. What that could look like for this is, let's say, for example, I look at this one. For large value of current, maybe now my scale is like this. Here, less sensitive. So perhaps instead of 1 being here and 0 0.8 being here, your 0 0.8 will have to move. Maybe your 0 0.8 is now here. So now this part is to represent 0 0.2 compared to this part. Whereas in the beginning, 0 0.2 is more sensitive. Okay, maybe this is 0, this is 0 0.2. So your scale doesn't have to be uniform. In fact, sometimes it may not be. Okay, so let's go back to this one. It says that it is less precise uh, at higher currents and pointer doesn't return to zero. Okay, the easiest one to address is issue number one. Pointer does not return to zero. If the pointer does not return to zero, this means that when there is no current, issue number one, uh, when there is no current, there is still reading. Okay, so in this case, so I need to make sure that the graph will show that that I already know that, oh, when there's no current, uh, the reading doesn't count. Okay, so see here. Let's say we look at this graph. It is the graph of scale reading against true current. So how to read the graph? This one, for example, when the current is, let's say this is 0 0.1 ampere, your scale reading is 0 degrees. Meaning to say, huh, this, uh, this meter the meter that uh, we are talking about right now, I'm just going to move it to this side for you to see. It means that when there's current, this reading is still zero. It cannot be right. Scale reading cannot be zero. Okay, so this kind of reading is out. When the current is zero, scale reading is not zero. So this two is automatically out already. It should have reading. Okay, so this is out, this is out. Because when there's 0 0.1 ampere current, this reading should not be zero. On the y-axis, here as well. Okay, next. So now we got these two beautiful graph. When the true current is zero, so at this point, uh, my true current is zero, I equal to zero, but the scale reading, reading not zero. This is what we want. It says here, no current, still got reading. Nah, no current, still got reading. D also, no current, still got reading. So this is issue one settled. This is issue one. This is issue one. This problem here. Uh, the best one is actually to have the graph passing through the, the origin. So this one is actually a systematic, which is also a zero error. Systematic error, also known as zero error. Okay. Now, the next thing to look at is the graph. Okay. So if I check the curvature of the graph, this one is decreasing gradient. 
This one is increasing gradient. This is to represent the second problem. So you see a second problem here. It says that the meter has become less sensitive. Less sensitive, uh, besides, besides less precise, it also tells us that um, you need large changes in current to create a small change in scale reading or needle deflection. So think of scale reading as your needle deflection. Needle deflection. Okay. That's why right now when there's current, there's no needle deflection. But you check the gradient. If we're talking about large current, right? Large current will be on the tail end here, right here. This is the tail end. You see, oh, our current increase a lot leh, here to here, the delta I. But the deflection is only teensy bit. Let's compare to option D. Again, we try to take roughly the same delta I. So here to here, you can always use your ruler when you do MCQ questions. Okay, Here to here, you can see almost comparable delta I. But here, oh, larger deflection. This is small deflection. So small deflection means less sensitive. That's why the answer is C. Larger deflection means more sensitive. You change a bit of current, oh, immediately the scale reading change a lot. So check the gradient of the graph. News flash. This is MCQ we can flip the x and y axis. Can flip uh, any time, okay? Don't memorize the shape, learn to analyze the graph, okay? So first step, I outline the issues with the M meter. There are two issues. Pointer doesn't return fully to zero, and meter is less sensitive at high currents. So if pointer doesn't return to zero, means when there's no current, still got reading which is option C and D. I've explained just now, okay? So when, the, when I is zero, there's still reading. The scale reading is not zero, okay? For both C and D. And then the second issue is large current, less sensitive. Now, less sensitive at large current. Less sensitive means I need to change a lot, then only the scale will detect. So it's shown by this, I change a lot, but the scale only change a bit. We always complain about someone not being sensitive enough. Ma. That means you need to actually change a lot of your emotions before the person notice that you change. So I need to change a lot of the current before I get some deflection. Whereas this one, I change the same amount of current. Wow, my deflection so big. Okay, so learn to read the calibration curve. There'll be this question.